welcome to Laura Lee's Classic Kitchen. And today in my kitchen, I'm gonna be making some yummy, easy, fluffy biscuits. They're gonna be crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. But before we do that, I have something I gotta tell you guys. I hit 300 subscribers, so I'm so happy for that. I wanna thank each and every one of you for supporting me and coming to my channel. I really appreciate it. You guys are my family. I welcome you guys into my home. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. And now, with that being said, come on in. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna be needing. First, you're gonna be needing two cups of flour. Not, it's just regular plain flour. And then, you're gonna need one tablespoon of baking powder along with one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, salt, and that's one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, one half cup of coconut oil, one cup of milk, and then right here I have on the side it's about a half a cup of flour and you're gonna need that for when you take your biscuits out and I'll show you that process. So right now I'm gonna put my, and of course you're gonna want a bowl. <laughs> you're gonna wanna put all of your flour in your bowl first. And then you're gonna put all your dry ingredients, the baking soda and baking powder, salt and sugar. Now, when you have all of those ingredients in, you're gonna want this handy dandy too, which I'm sure everybody has, the fork. You're gonna wanna take your fork and just mix and incorporate all your ingredients. And the reason why um, I made this recipe is because I like to see everybody come into my home and be able to do this at their home. Cause it's simple, but it doesn't taste like the store-bought biscuits. I mean, these are much yummier, plus it's easy to make. Then when you got that incorporated, I'm gonna take my half cup of coconut oil. Now I know a lot of people are probably thinking coconut oil, that's kind of weird, but coconut oil actually is good and actually great in baking. But see, you're just gonna wanna take your coconut oil and you're just gonna wanna mix it through. Make sure your coconut oil has um, some body to it. It's not like liquid form <laughs> because I never tried it like that, but I've always used it like that, this. So now you're just gonna wanna smash everything in. And then I'm gonna continue smashing it in. Now that we got everything incorporated, see it's kind of gonna look like uh, kind of wet sand because you don't want your your oil pieces too big in there. You just want to make sure it's kind of incorporated and all through your flour mixture. So once we do that, I kind of make like a a little weld in the middle of your bowl. And you, this part, you're not gonna over mix your um, ingredients together, your milk and all of your other ingredients. You're just gonna wanna make it to where it's all combined. Whoa, whoa there. So I'm gonna dump the rest of my milk in and I'm gonna hold on to this bowl so it doesn't fly off the counter. And it's gonna be a wet batter, you guys, and that's why I have the half a cup of flour on the side, because um, you're not gonna to wanna to over mix your batter, because that's what's gonna make your biscuits nice and fluffy and tasty and crispy on the outside. Now, before that, I forgot to tell you guys, 
You're gonna need to preheat your oven to 450 degrees before we get started here. See, I didn't mix it that much. Just you want it incorporated, but see your batter's really wet and loose. Now, I'm gonna put my flour on the side. And you're just gonna wanna take it on the counter, use your clean hands and distribute it just like that. And just plop it out of here. Make sure you get all that yummy ingredients out. Just like that. And you're just gonna wanna smash it down on each side. What I do is I fold it over and smash the flour into it. And you wanna fold it again. At least fold it twice, cause you don't wanna overwork it. You're gonna fold it twice and kinda shape it. Cause you're gonna cut them out I usually try to like shape it kind of rectangular. <laughs> now, depending on how thick you want them, um, you can make them an inch to a half an inch thick. You're gonna wanna take either a round cookie cutter or if you don't have any kind of anything round, you can use a lid or a cup. But if you don't wanna do that, you can just cut it with a knife and just shape them just like um, little boxes or little squares. squares. <laughs> So now I'm gonna take my cutter and cut them out. Try to get as many as you can. This makes about, depending on how big you have them, maybe about six to eight um, biscuits and just the excess put to the side. Take your biscuits and you're gonna wanna have a pan ready. And I have my cast iron right here. And you can put them close together. Now you're gonna wanna either spray it with like a, a oil spray or you can um, grease it with oil or butter. Your preference, you choose. And it doesn't matter, you want biscuits kind of close that way they get the little edging on there. And I'm putting my little biscuits in there. Get in there, little baby. Now I'm gonna finish making this, same process. puppies in the oven. I got out of this um, mixture about 11 and a mini one in there. <laughs> so depending on how big you make them. Now you're going to want to put them in your preheated oven for about anywhere between 12 and 15 minutes depending on your oven. So when they're done I'll show you the result. Yeah, these babies are out of the oven. Now guys, if you want a shinier coat, you can either brush it with um, butter or milk before you put them in the oven, but hey, I like a rustic biscuit. Okay, I have Carlitos with me, or Carlos. Hey guys. <laughs> We're gonna pick out one of these biscuits. So we could take, how about this one, Carlos? Yeah, See that? Good. Look yeah. at that, guys. It's crispy on the outside and it's like nice and airy and fluffy. Look at that. Spongy. That's how you're gonna want a biscuit. Mm. What half do you want? You want butter or no butter? I mean for butter and both. Well, uh, hey, <laughs> hey I, I, people may have a pet peeve. I just did. I just double dipped in there. That's wrong. I'll take either one. It doesn't matter. Okay. Take one, take one. Oh wow, that's the one I want now. <laughs> Actually it was. All right, let's see. Mm. Mm. Look at that. 
That's like These are really good. Nice and fluffy. Got the butter and jam on there. I was once told Give they taste, try. tasted like McDonald's biscuits. So. No, McDonald's doesn't come near these. Okay, good. Thank you. But you don't want it. Eat these, sorry. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Laura Lee's Classic Kitchen for more of these delicious recipes. Have a very blessed day, and we're going to get up those subscribers this year. That's our New Year's. Right, son? Yep. <laughs> so, all new subscribers, thank you for coming to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for visiting us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll be seeing you soon. Bye. We'll have a blessed Bye. day. Bye.